we will be discussing the 2024-25 schedule for the LSU women's basketball team. Coming back for LSU is Anissa Morrow, Flaugé Johnson, Michaela Williams, Samaya Smith, Lasto Pawa, Alea Del Sario, Izzy Besselman, and Amani Bartlett. Coming in from the transfer portal is Kaylin Gilbert, Cheyenne Day Wilson, Miracle Shepherd, Jersey Wolfenberger, and the new freshman is Jade Richard. Welcome to Davis Sports Report. Please hit the like button on your way in, and let's go ahead and hear what Coach Mulkey has for the team this year. Coach, let's, let's get it started. Just uh, another season, but uh, there's so much excitement about this sport. You're familiar with Louisiana, and people love to support winners. And I think you're seeing a lot of good things happen at LSU the last several years, certainly our national championship, our Elite Eight. Uh, but we have a new team now, and we have to prepare for a new season, another season in the good old tough SEC. And uh, what better place to start than with these two guys, Anissa and Flage? And, and ladies, uh, it came out earlier that uh, there were three uh, people tied for uh, – preseason player of the year, whatever that means, I guess it's the anticipation. You two uh, are both uh, in that group with, with uh, a young lady from Madison Booker from, from Texas. That's, that's, that's a good way to start, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I would just say um, just the media honors for me, just trying to stay motivated with my team. Me and Fly J are going to challenge each other every day like we did last year with steals and just on the floor. So just continuing to challenge each other and work hard. Now let's dig into the schedule. As you can see, LSU is starting their season on easy street. Not only are they not playing ranked teams, they are playing teams in much smaller conferences. They may face their first ranked team in the Thanksgiving Bahamar tournament and not again until late January when they match up against the number one ranked South Carolina Gamecocks. Let's take a closer look at their notable opponents. November 25th is the Baja Mar Hoops Tournament based in Nassau, Bahamas, that has the Tigers facing off against the Washington Huskies, where their high scorer and high rebounder, Delia Daniels, will be returning, along with L. Ladin, Hannah Steins, and Savia Sellers. Last year, Washington did make it to the postseason, but lost in the first round to Georgetown. November 27th is the second tournament game for LSU, where they will go head-to-head -head with either North Carolina State or Southern. No offense to Southern, but I'm going to go ahead and call this one for number nine ranked North Carolina State. The Wolfpack went deep into the postseason in 2024, surprising many, and ultimately lost in the Final Four to South Carolina. They have several returning players, including Isaiah James, Madison Hayes, Sanaya Rivers, and Zoe Brooks. They've also added Caitlin Weimer transferring from Boston University, as well as highly ranked freshman recruits, number 23rd ranked Zamaria Jones, as well as Devin Quigley and Sweden's Tilda Triggers. The Tigers' next big game isn't until January 3rd, where they will go to Columbia, South Carolina to battle with number one ranked South Carolina. The Gamecocks is returning with the majority of their team, minus their big Camilla Cardoso. They have Raven Johnson, Tahina Pow Pow, Chloe Kitts, and Bree Hall, all returning starters, as well as Tessa Johnson and Malaysia Full Wiley. They've also added Miriam Dowda from the transfer portal and signed on freshman Joyce Edward and Maddie McDaniels. This was a big game for LSU last year, and they came very close to victory, but ultimately losing by six in the regular season and seven postseason. On January 30th, the Tigers will host 12th-ranked Oklahoma in Baton Rouge. Returning to the Sooners is top scorer and rebounder Skylar Van, also Sahara Williams, Liz Scott, Peyton Velholst, and playmaker Nivia Tott. Oklahoma added powerhouse Regan Beers transferring from Oregon, making for a strong starting five and a deep bench. Coming in from the recruiting class is Sia Smith and younger sister of Skylar Van, number 46 ranked Zaya Van. February 16th, the Tigers will head to Austin, Texas to clash with fifth ranked Texas, and this team has the height and talent. With the other preseason co player of the year and last year's high scorer, Madison Booker, top rebounder Taylor Jones, and playmakers Rory Hammond and Aaliyah Moore returning. 
Coming in from the transfer portal is the highly sought-after Layla Felia, transferring from Michigan, and Kayla Oldacre, coming from University of Miami. Then there are the newcomers, freshmen 6'9", Abby Boutier, and 9th-ranked Jordan Lee, as well as 12th-ranked Justice Carlton, and 38th-ranked Brianna Preston. This will be a tough game on the road for the Tigers. February 23rd, the Tigers will be in Lexington to battle 23rd-ranked Kentucky, who are now being led by former Virginia Tech coach Kenny Brooks, shaking up the Kentucky roster. Coming along with Kenny Brooks from Virginia Tech is Georgia Amore, Clara Strack, and Gabby Brooks. Returning for the Wildcats is Saniya Tyler. Also coming in from the transfer portal are Daisy Lawrence, Jordan Obi, and Dominica Perova from Oregon. Freshmen joining are 40th-ranked Lexi Blue and Tana Baker coming from Canada and Clara Silva coming from Portugal. On February 27th, another away game for the Tigers. They will be in Tuscaloosa to face off against 24th-ranked Alabama, who's returning top scorer Sarah Ashley Barker, top rebounder Essence Cody, also Jessica Timmons, Carly Weathers, and Alaya Nye. Joining from the transfer portal are Christabel Izuma and Zay Green, making this a solid team. Bama has two freshmen coming in, and that is number 36-ranked Eris Lester, along with Chloe Spreen and Leah Brooks. And lastly, on March 2nd, the Tigers will host 20th-ranked Ole Miss in Baton Rouge. The Rebels have top rebounder and assist Madison Scott returning, along with returning players Kennedy Todd Williams, Carissa Richardson, and KK Deans. Coming from the transfer portal is massive contributors Star Jacobs from UT Arlington and Tamia Sadler from Buffalo, making this team a serious contender. The Tigers lost a huge piece of their puzzle last year as Angel Reese got drafted and played an outstanding rookie year in the WNBA, being the first to break a long-standing rebounding record. Let's hear what Coach Mulkey has to say about filling that void. Hey, Coach. Um, with Angel Reese being in the league now, you have less depth at that big position. I know you have Waffenberger and um, Del Rosario. How do you feel about them stepping into that role coming out of preseason? Well, you don't ever talk or compare them to Angel Reese. Uh, you just don't do that. Uh, again, Jersey has been away from the game for a year. She's got size, got to get her stronger, uh, got to keep challenging her because the system she was in is totally different than what she's going to be required to do here. She was a perimeter shooter, staying out there. No, no, you big girl. Get in there and get us some rebounds. Get in there and block some shots. We'll get you some points. Um, Aaliyah, uh, coming off her ankle surgery, her second one was cleared about 10 days ago and has been working in practice. And I view this like a practice today. A lot of people do the closed scrimmages. I like to open it to the public and make it more game-like. And she needed to get up and down the floor. Uh, certainly, she's not in playing shape. But again, Aaliyah's a big body in there. And, uh, you know, we have the size, but you don't, you don't ever compare those young ladies to, to Angel. Angel is a, a monster on the boards. And if we can all just be a little bit good rebounding the ball, you know, maybe we'll make up for some of those rebounds we lost with Angel. Hey, Coach. As you noticed, LSU had the SEC championship listed on their schedule for March 5th, but currently LSU is ranked third in the SEC behind South Carolina and Texas based on the ESPN ranking. What do you all think? Can LSU claw their way back to an SEC championship? And can they ultimately take home the national championship this year like they did back in 2023? Let us know what you think below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.